Gen Z. It's Booty Cheeks. And it's all because of TikTok. I mean, it's a no-brainer at this point. People will do the most for some clout on TikTok. Like, they will do anything to get on that scrumptious for you page, even act like a dog. Get on all fours and start barking at anyone that walks by. People will also be starting up those GTA heists in the school bathroom. Or at their local Walmart, they'll literally film themselves doing it too. Anyway, let's jump right in. Walking until I get noticed by any designer. You're gonna be walking for a very long time. That's all I'm saying. If I get any designers watching this, would you approve of the drip? Because I wouldn't. Bro, looks like he's ready to go to space or something. That looks like a space suit. I guess this is a new style, the new drip on TikTok. It's not gonna happen. Half the Reddit comments on here are flaming your fit. And plus, it's not gonna magically happen in 15 seconds like it's a goddamn movie. Why some men choose Wonder Bread Woman over you? Guarantee it, she's probably gonna say something like, Why am I not getting a top 1% Chadley businessman hit in my line? For you. And when I say Wonder Bread, I'm just talking about girls who are a bit more plain, a bit more basic, average. And you, on the other hand, are like a divine French croissant, and you're confused. You're like, I don't get it. Why are you going for Wonder Bread when I'm right here? There okay, you definitely say I'm not like other girls on the daily. She's definitely that one girl that thinks she's like quirky or something. This is definitely giving me some main character vibes. I can assure you, you're not getting your own anime art. There are three reasons why this happens, and I'm going to tell you exactly what they are. Starting with reason number one, Wonder Bread is cheaper, okay? You get a lot more value for basically half the price of a Christmas. What do you mean, half the price? Dog, what? I see this analogy just does not check out at all. And apparently, I'm out here shopping. I'm I'm looking, I'm like, oh, that Wonder Bread's looking cheap, man. That's half the price. Like, what? She's treating it like the men are like over here shopping. Everyone's making it mad complex for no reason. Dating is literally becoming its own subject at this point. Like, I gotta sit here and jot down, take notes. Oh, okay, so Wonder Bread, like, nah. Like, there's no girl out there, I guarantee you, on this planet watching this video that's taking notes. None. Alright, there are no crumbs. With a croissant, with a lot of crumbs, and some guys honestly don't want to deal with it. But here's the thing. The people that like croissants love croissants. Croissants, they're bad for you, and if you eat enough of them, you'll look like Nick Avocado. So, you know, I don't, I'll go with the Wonder Bread. This is a post that I posted yesterday on my Instagram, and... It got 14 likes. I have over like 7K. <gasps> it got 14 likes. <laughs> Do you want a tissue, man? Here, here I, I'll give you some, I'll give you a tissue. Here, have have a tissue. Wow, someone didn't give you a virtual heart on Instagram and you're making a whole TikTok complaining about it. That's just insane. I'm talking about people that are supposed to be in my circle or people that I associate with that will like other people's photos in the group or people that we know. No, girl. Oh, they didn't give you that heart. Oh, that's that's terrible. No, but seriously though, turn the damn phone off if you really care about social media that much. So if you're not liking it, I see you and I know why. And you're a loser. Oh, roasted. Oh my God. Whoever it is out there not liking your photo, you can't come back from that. She just called you a loser. How are you gonna let the op slide on you like that? Me personally, I'm not letting that one slide. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get my get back real quick. And it doesn't bother me. I'm gonna keep posting, but I'm calling you out. I see you. Hi, stalkers. But talk about it not bothering you, yet you make a whole video on it. Like, you seem a bit obsessed, you seem a bit honed in on the fact that you got no likes on your last post. Oh my god, everyone's gonna say my Instagram's dead. She's gotta turn off the phone, seriously. Uh, why the hell did you just lick the table? Oh my god. Like, who knows what kind of bacteria is living on there? Like, who knows where other people's hands have been? Could have been in a public bathroom if you're lucky. Or maybe, like, a school bathroom. That's, like, one of the most unsanitary places on the planet. Like, bro, I probably should bring in a whole-ass biohazard suit to walk in the goddamn school bathroom. That's how bad it smells. It smells like some day-old piss, bro. You legally have to give me a month. No, I don't, because you haven't paid one brown penny. I, I'm not obligated to, and I le I can't afford to. You can't just tell me I have two weeks to find somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how it works. You gotta have to pay your side of the rent or get out. Whoever you're living with is probably busting their ass at work to pay for your rent too, because you want to be a lazy piece of shit. Clearly, you agreed on you splitting the rent. You've had over <gasps> a month. And no, I haven't. Look. You have done nothing but dig your heels in and try and make me feel bad about you. No, I haven't. I've been trying to educate you. 
educate you. What, so you don't have to pay your side of the rent? Are you just making an excuse at this point? She's definitely that one Twitter girl, IRL. Bar. Oh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm trying to educate you. Like, shut the hell up. Clearly, you've been a shitty roommate. Then you just blame it on your shitty mental health and say, oh, I, the, the, this and that. Like, obviously, mental health is a serious problem, but it at this point, it's just you being used as, like, a scapegoat. I have schizophrenia! I don't care what you have. I don't. <laughs> it doesn't mean we live in squalor. And it doesn't mean you're a bully. Yeah, bro, stop bullying, man. Okay, that's probably, like, the last thing that should leave my mouth. If you're gonna bully your roommate over here, not pay a single dime for rent. Like, I find it pretty hard to say no, but in this situation, I don't think I will find it hard at all. Like, all, all, I, all I gotta say to you is, what is the shape of Italy? And hopefully you catch a drift and you're out. You, I'm not even a bully! You literally dead need me, misgender me, and tell me that, like... Are you trying to get Twitter to cancel her now? Like, oh, God, she made gender me. Like, bro, it's not going to work. Mooching off other people is not the way to live. She desperately needs to go find a job and stop being so terminally online. I'm not trying to turn you on. Would you like me to? Yo, what? This to video took a nice deep dark turn into like some street alley. Oh my god, this is the most shady video I've ever seen. Like, would you like me to- Bro, what do you, what mean, do you by mean by that? Like, why is there some fox on my screen that looks like Nick Wilde asking me if I want to be turned on right now? Like, I, th I think I'm living in a fever dream. I think that's what's going on here. Are we living in a dream? Okay, never mind. This does not look like Nick Wilde. I'm tripping. I'm tripping balls right now. I promise I'm not on any substance. Like, all the cringe I'm looking at is making me hella dense tonight. Are men trash? Cis, heterosexual men, absolutely. Especially white men. We're into- What? Damn, what? What do you got to get straight men, bro? Or straight white men? Guess we're just gonna throw equality out the window? All straight men are trash. Like, that's a pretty big generalization, don't you think? It definitely is. It's not necessarily something I'm gonna, like, saying via statistics. I'm saying via experience. Would it be misogynistic if a man said all women are trash? Yes. It's the same way as, like, reverse racism. So in that case, isn't it kind of, you know, misandry? What? That, what? <laughs> all right, I don't know why she even said that then. But apparently you can say men are trash. What? Okay, you definitely use Twitter on a daily basis. Not just a daily basis, but maybe maybe 24-7, maybe on an hourly basis. For a woman to say that men are trash? Oh, I wouldn't say so. I mean, yeah. But... So are you a misandrist? Close to, but I'm trying to come out of that. Am I trash then? Sure, yeah. Personally, I want to take that disrespect. Now, but seriously, clearly you can tell one person's way more intelligent than the other in this interview. Twitter has damaged her brain so much, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> like she's definitely just taking like popular talking points from like a toxic Twitter group. And she's just rolling with that. She probably doesn't even truly believe that just, just based on how many times she's contradicted herself. But yeah, in her world, she's the main character and I'm just a piece of trash that she's got. She's about to throw in the dumpster. There's something so demonic about this and I can't even articulate what it is. This is such a Gen Z moment. I don't care how many people, how many commentary channels covered it. This needs to be in the video. How is curing the blind a demonic act and needs to be canceled on Twitter? Like these motherfuckers are actually broken. Brain dead. Like, there's just a bunch of NPC robots just scrolling on a platform at this point. And it's like, anytime Mr. Beast drops a video, they program like this code. They come up like this with this reasoning why to cancel Mr. Beast, I swear. It happens every video at this point. Hey, if you pose a transformation of your body, which... Just be happy in your new body. Just be go off and be happy in your new body. We stop shitting on your your old fat self. Nah, they're just happy about their progress. They're not like, oh, I used to look like a fucking humpback whale. Wow, look at me now. Like, no. <laughs> they say, like, after hard work for this amount of years, we're finally here or whatever. Or, like, getting gains or something. I don't know. Like, they're proud of their work. You shouldn't have to fucking shrink your body to have value. And it's like, please stop advertising to me. Please get off my fucking For You page. Look, like... Well, you're engaging with the videos. What do you expect? It's gonna keep popping it up on your for you page if you engage with it so just if you see it just scroll right by it or maybe get off the phone and your problems will be solved there's enough space for that i don't want it how many times do you have to report and say not interested to your transformation videos okay maybe the solution is getting off the for you page or tiktok all right clearly scrolling pass is not an option at this point like seriously go outside go for a nice walk like it'll, it'll clear the mind god from Ferris right there hey uh go have fun with your uh, 100 subscribers <laughs> Get that louder. Uh, you don't have, you don't have a Brent Rivera, bro, you are not 
him. Shut the fuck up. This dude's trying to ego this other YouTuber. Like, oh, go go have fun with your 100 subscribers. Like, just because you don't got the most fancy schmancy equipment on the block. Tyler Oliveira does not deserve that disrespect. Like, bro, you're not the main character. Like, I swear, this dude thinks he's the main character. All right, the Vine era is over. You're no longer him. Respect. I literally walked out of my hotel room and nearly had a heart attack. Why did you walk up to us? Like, enter our space. I've, I've paid $400 a night for the hotel. What do you mean? Yeah, but yes, if we were yeah, normal guests, that would Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Normal guess. Normal guess? What do you think? You're like somehow magically above him? You paid the same amount of money to stay at the same hotel. Wow, what a dickhead. Bro really called 12 over some hotel beef. That's crazy. Like, you're the one who was engaging in the beef, dog. Like, you were always the first one initiating. Go have fun with your 100 subscribers. Like, shut the hell up. Comment walk if you made this far. Thank you to all my members, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.